Hello everyone! Welcome to an unboxing video of some pens that are new and <laughs> sorry and exciting. Um, I'm just gonna die uh, right now apparently as it turns out. Mm. Let's wash that down. Okay, this is this pen. Do you know what this is? No, probably not because not many people have really talked about them. We've seen them, we have like oohed and on, and we've wondered, but now we are going to ink them. I've already inked them. Uh, so I actually bought these from Apple Bomb. Yes, I bought them. And I actually bought three of them because I'm cray. And I'm gonna unbox it, and we're gonna write with it, and we're gonna talk about it. The pen is the Scribo Feel Fountain Pen. Three of the same color because I'm completely nuts. And so we're gonna do the packaging and I'm gonna do the pens and I'm gonna tell you details, like stuff like, what is Scribo? Scribo stands for Scrittura Bolognese and it's like, not like, some people are like, oh, it's the new Omas, it's not. And they are doing a lot of great things that will be reminiscent of Omas, like really nice nibs and feeds, but they're designing their own pen bodies and it's, it's different. So let's do that, do this stuff. Very simple packaging that I like. It's got that sleeve. It's got this booklet. The booklet says, Scribo, feel the writing. Hence the Scribo, feel, fountain pen. It's like an accordion booklet. Actually, it is literally an accordion booklet. Lots of details in here. Um, the English side is over here. So it tells you about the history of Scribo, which is very new. And I'm not going to read it all to you because I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it, but it's really sweet. They have like a little like welcome, like a dear friend thing. They also tell you about use and maintenance, which is actually really important. And I actually appreciate when a fountain pen company includes how to use their pen and how to maintain it because not everybody knows. And activation and warranty terms. So. There we go. That's the booklet. Actually, a very useful booklet. Oftentimes, you get like a big catalog of like every pen the company makes, and you're like, what am I going to do with this? This is actually useful information. Next up, we have the actual box, which is this. Very cute, like a powdery sky blue thing. It is magnetic. It's got a little flapper. It's like, hello. <laughs> As I open it, things fall out. This is the warranty, international guarantee certificate. There we go. You don't need to see that. It's none of your business, but that's what comes with it. And inside the pen is presented. Wait, I've already opened it, right? So it's like, it's tissue wrapped with a little sticker and inside the tissue is this. So you will notice there is very, very little stuff here that can't be recycled or reused. So thank you, Scribo. You know I hate packaging. Well, they don't know I hate packaging, but you guys know I hate packaging. So like this stuff is superb. I'm a big fan. Now the little wrap is really cute. It's gray. It's got this like little leather thong and inside it has two pen slots, which hold the Scribo, which I'll show you in a second. And in this pocket, there is a cloth. So this is like in the maintenance, they're like, you could wipe the pen down with a soft, lint-free cloth. A soft, lint-free cloth. This is like one of those glasses cleaning cloths, which is actually really awesome. So there you go, like, this is useful. Thank you for not giving me a massive box that I have to deal with. This is superb. And nice and snug, it folds up well. Great, I'm a big fan of the packaging. So, there you go, enough of the packaging. Let's look at the pen. This is the pen. Details, actually, don't judge me. These are the pens. One of them doesn't belong to me, um, but the other two do belong to me. So the pens, these are the blue blacks. There is also a gray blue and new colors are like greenish and yellowish and like they have gold trim and like ruthenium trim. These have rhodium trim. It is resin body turned from a, it is a resin body, turned from a solid bar. The body is shaped like a Doric column with hints of facets for comfort and beauty. I got that from their website. And even the section is faceted. Super comfortable pen. 
like I thought it would be like too bulbous and like to my eyeballs it's really bulbous but it's super comfortable and the writing experience is fantastic which we will discuss shortly it is a piston filler holds 1.42 uh, 1.42 milliliters of ink the nib and feed you will probably recognize the style of it looks a lot like an omas nib and feed which i'm a big fan of now the nibs that i pick okay so you can get an 18 karat extra fine fine medium broad those are not flexible nibs they are soft but they're not flexible and you can get a 14 karat flex in fine medium broad and from what i understand the extra fine flex is supposed to come up with the new colors so fingers crossed for that because that's what i really want that's basically it for my jibber jabber about the pens they are flat flat ends flat tops um there's a little feather on the top the clip is not my favorite style of clip like i don't think it's amazing but it's springy it's functional uh the center band says scribo and feel the writing other than that it's pretty simple so i will just tell you from now that i really like them and even though the bulbous look kind of freaks me out, it is totally worth it because they are exquisite when you put the nib to the page. So enough chit chat up here. Let's go down to the desk and see how they write. Bye. So in further detail, here are those Scribo feel pens. Here is the box. So you've seen the box. Um, it's very basic. I actually really, really like it. So I've already showed it to you, so I'm not gonna show it to you again, but that's the box. So the pens are interesting. Um, they're supposed to be designed after like Doric columns. They're faceted. They have some design details on the clip, uh, sorry, the center band. The finial is um, the feather logo of Scribo. And um, I'm just going to unlock my focus here so I can show you some details. There's the logo. It's nice. Like, it's very simple. I'm not crazy about the clip. I find it a little wide. Like, it's a bit clunky looking, but that's okay. The center band says, Scribo, feel the writing. Um, the section is also faceted. This step here, it's not particularly sharp. Um, but it's so far back that even if you do feel that it's sharp, you're not going to really notice it. Uh, it cannot be posted. I mean, you can, but not really. It is a piston filler, 1.42 milliliters of ink capacity. No ink window, so you're kind of guessing with what you're working with, right? Um, that's not uncommon in the piston filling world, but if that's a deal breaker for you, then that's a deal breaker. Um, so they're a little bulbous to me. Um, not like ridiculously so, but I don't know. Um, it's not my favorite design. I really just wanted to try out the nibs and see how they feel in person. They feel pretty good. Like, looking at them like this, they're not terrible, right? They're not horribly bulbous. I'm not really into bulbous pens. Like, that's a reason that a lot of the Danny Trio designs don't appeal to me. I don't like that really, like, bulbous look. So, anyway. Um, what else can I tell you? They have silver colored trim. They are resin, turned from a single bar of resin. Um, it, that does mean it's a plastic pen. This is the blue-black version, and I'm just gonna show it to you in the light. You can kind of see the color, but you can also see my fingerprints all over it, so that's fun. Fortunately, it comes with a polishing cloth, which is actually a really nice touch, and um, that's actually pretty convenient. So, the nibs. There are several nib options. This is the 18 karat broad. Now the 18 karat comes in extra fine, fine, medium, broad. And the 14 karat, which from the Omas days you will recognize as the extra flexible. They don't call it that. They actually call it flex now. Um, the 14 karat comes in fine, medium, and broad. So I have a fine flex. Now, I gotta say of the modern nibs that were being produced when Omas was around in terms of flex, if you got a good one, you got a really nice flex nib. And uh, I'm still hesitant to say flex because you can always lift the nib off the, the feed if you apply too much pressure. That's the case with all pens, but um, these are actually called flex nibs. Like they've actually labeled it as flex. And um, so far in my testing, it's pretty solid. It's holding up pretty well. I will show you in a writing sample how it performs. 
how it snaps back. Um, I never push them to the max. Like I don't, I don't overdo it because it can always go a little further, but I'm like, eh, at some point it's going to spring, right? Or you're going to lift it off the feed, which is not what you want. So it's sort of a matter of using common sense and like considering looking at the design of it and thinking, okay, how much can this nib handle? How much can the, um, how much can it snap back? So it's, uh, I don't know. It's a bit of a game, I guess. So the nib says, feel the flex. I'm only pointing this out because they're literally calling it a flex nib. So we're going to take a good look at the writing and see how it performs. Okay. So it does have an ebonite feeder. Um, again, if you have any Omos pens, you will notice that the, um, the shape of it, sorry, is the same as what the Omos has. So, or had really nice nibs. Um, I was really excited to try out the nibs. So let's, let's take a look at these in writing and see how they do. Okay, first things first, we have the fine flex on the Scribo. That was my error because I had it uncapped for too long, sorry. This is 14 carat fine flex. So I'm applying light pressure as I write. And what I'm doing while I'm applying the pressure is not, not that I'm, I'm not trying to get flex out of it. What I'm trying to do is just get a bit of wetness out of it. So. Okay, so let's take a look at that. I would not push it beyond this. It feels soft enough to go further, but I don't want to do it. Now, I inked this several days ago. It's been sitting around. I've used it. I haven't used it yet today, so this is the first time I'm using it today. I don't know. I mean, I would say this is pretty decent, don't you think? Not bad. Yep. Okay, so we've got the broad now. Uh, sorry. Sorry, that's really annoying. I'm gonna lock all that. Okay. This is the Scribo. So the broad, unlike the fine flex, the broad is a 18 karat gold. Surprisingly. It has a pretty flex uh sorry, I wouldn't I shouldn't say flexy. It has a pretty soft writing experience. It's super juicy, smooth. It is not over polished. It just works really well. So this is no pressure. Like that's super wet. I love it. I bought both because I didn't know which one I wanted and I'm glad because I, I love them both. So, awesome.
Okay, so let's look at the stub nib. You can see it's slightly soft, right? It is super wet. This is no pressure. And here I'll slowly apply pressure. This is not a flex nib. I am just working with the softness of the nib just so you could see that you can get a lot of wetness out of it, not flex, just wetness. It's a really pleasant writer. Crazy wet, very smooth, very, very enjoyable, and I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Okay, let's switch over to the Fine Flex. Here we are with the Fine Flex. Wait, I gotta hold the page down, sorry. Like crazy, right? That's what it looks like with no pressure. Hideous handwriting because I'm leaning on my elbow, sorry. And let's look, so this is no pressure, and let's slowly add pressure. It feels like it could go further than this, but I'm not going to push it because I don't want to spread the tines too much, and I also don't want to lift the nib off the feed. However, super wet rider. I think it's such a fun nib. Like, look at that. That's just so crazy. So there you go. That is the fine flex. I'm going to try and put it there. And we have the broad stub. Hope you found this useful. Um, I bought these myself at Apple Balm. I'll include links where you could buy them if you're interested. So I hope... You, uh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Wait, what was I saying? Hope you found this useful. Um, oh, yeah. If you liked, I would love it if you would like and subscribe because that would be fantastic. And I hope you're enjoying this video style. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time.